So, in today's video, I am going to be making one of my grandmother's recipes called hamburger helper. So, the first thing I do is fry up the hamburger meat, which is what I'm working on doing now. I have two small things, so for us, I have to use two of my Ew. ones I put in portions, so... And I'm just going to cut this up. I love putting um, seasoned salt and just some seasonings into the hamburger while I'm cooking it. Oh. Way too much. Yeah, my way. So. Uh, it's seasoned out salt the and week. go from there. While while the hamburger's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready for the oven. It's so what, what I do is set this up to about 450. Not too good. So I'm going to take the, this and put it down. use cream of mushroom today because that's what I got. Oh. And I'm having issues. What's my can open? Came back on. This is how the hamburger is looking. The hamburger is almost done. And now, oh, well, do you need my help? Here, baby. There you go. So, waiting for the hamburger to get done. Okay, now that the hamburger's done and drained, I got to turn the camera on before I drained it, but hamburger's done, I'm gonna get it poured over here. On my own. And I'm just gonna take a spatula, spread the hamburger away. What I do is just take the cream of mushroom. You can use cream of mushroom or cream of celery, whichever one you prefer. I've done it both ways. The original recipe calls for onion in the hamburger as well as um, tater tots instead of curly fries, but I like doing curly fries. We are doing coffee fries. There we go. Oh, I 
Oh. And don't worry about Ben, guys. He is. He's having a rough day. No, oh. you and him in the background. He's just having a rough day. I'm so mad on that. This around. Uh, we ain't going to do. And now this is spread around. What I do is take some cheese. No, my. Take some cheese. Gone. And I cover the cheese. And I'm having a bad day dropping everything. There we go. So I got the oven set about 400, 450-ish. So it would get done in about an hour. Once I get in there. So basically all you do is take cheese and off it. Depending on the size of your pan, it's normally three of balls, and then you, you can do half ones on the space that the slices of cheese don't fit. Mm -hmm. oh. It sounds like Daisy. <gasps> Is a oh, yeah, I hear you over there, Daisy. So probably like this is the thing I'm gonna yeah. probably get Daisy down um, vapor change wow. and get her ready for her dinner. And let her play some. Now this normally for me normally takes about a whole pack of cheese. But I normally have my little mouse heel eating it while I'm doing it. So Yep, last slice. you take cheese. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take the rest of this. So, yeah. Good. 
this is definitely not a calm friendly meal so yeah if you're watching your carbs this is not a meal that you want to make but if you don't care this is delicious so if you like this video be sure to like and subscribe for future videos and let me know down in the comments if there's something my cook with me is it something you would like for me to continue doing so let me know down in the comments and see you in the next video